Mr. Bernard, thank you for being with us today. Um, well, let's first talk about wine, uh, the wine tasting. What is the main purpose of uh, this year's UGC wine tasting in China? Um, is uh, of course to show the vintage 2010, mm -hmm. which is a great vintage. And uh, all over China, we go to six different cities. Um, today in Beijing, we are waiting for nearly 2,000 people mm -hmm. coming to this tasting. Mm -hmm. It's a great event. We have uh, 108 different chateaux of Bordeaux mm -hmm. traveling for 10 days or 15 days in Asia and 10 days in China. Mm -hmm. Is a, is a great market, ah. and uh, we like to come here very much. Well, uh, let's talk about the 2010 vintage. Can you give us more insight about this year, about this vintage? Uh, we have to consider 10 uh, with 9 are uh, the two best vintage town in Bordeaux uh, in the last uh, decade. And um, I think that 75% of the winemaker of Bordeaux can tell you that they have done in nine of ten the best wine of their life. Mm -hmm. So nine and ten are really two great vintage, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But in the same time, I want to add that in the next ten years, we will do a vintage better than nine and ten. Because all the great chateaux like the Grand Cru we have today can tell you that the best wine of their life is the wine they will do. Because we are still moving. Bordeaux is not sleeping. And we try to make better every day. And we invest in different things, in technical, in human, in the vineyard, on all the different details. Great wine is made by details. And details give the Walls of the precision. And great wine, nobody make great wine by chance. Great wine are made with a lot of work, with a lot of details, with a lot of precision. And I like this word precision. And where is going to Bordeaux in the next 10, 15, 20 years with more precision? More precision means that we will. Um, will have a better expression of the soil in the future. And already today, the expression of our wine is more close to the soil mm -hmm. than 15 or 20 years ago. But in the next 15 and 20 years, we'll have more and more this expression, natural, very complex expression of the soil in our wine. And we also know that 2013 had been a very difficult vintage uh, for Bordeaux wines. So can you also give us some information about this vintage? So after 2009 and 2010, mm -hmm. uh, many uh, wine producers thought in Bordeaux that uh, now Bordeaux is easy to do. You know, after this two great vintage, we thought that uh, now the future would be very easy. And the nature is always stronger. And the nature uh, tell us after these two great vintage, nine and ten, then the, the nature can be very difficult. And 11, 12, and 13 are certainly uh, three vintage in the most difficult wine I had to make in my not long, but it's 30 vintage I've done at Domaine de Chevalier. And these three ones were especially difficult. But Bordeaux is working such uh, at a very high level of quality that um, even in the vintage like 2013, we have made good wine. If that vintage have been done 20 years ago, we'll have done very average vintage. But the vintage 2013 is good, and the wine are really good. And if the price is good, it's very interesting in this vintage to know who are the people who have made very good wine at a good price, because you will have a good value. You mentioned that you are the owner of Domaine Chevalier and also the, the uh, Chateau Guillaume. Yeah. Uh, well, how do you see the, the market in China of the Petritus wine? 
what I can see is that on this Chinese market in Beijing, uh, we have seen that today uh, the sample we pour on sauté wine were finished before the red one. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I can tell you that in France, in UK, in the US, people taste the white, the dry white wine, then the red, and at the end they taste sauté. But here, people like to taste sauté first, or during the tasting. And they finish a bottle of sauté before the other one. That means that Chinese like sauté, mm -hmm. and I will say more than that, um, Chinese ladies like sauté. So you will see a prosperous market? I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. When these ladies will be um, the real buyer, like we can see in Japan, for example, now. Uh, it's a beginning today in China, but in the future, you know, you will see ladies uh, buying wine and uh, saying, wait, well, I want to, to drink sauté, you know, mm -hmm. and we see that. And I know they love this wine, but uh, men also like sauté. Mm -hmm. I love sauté. I invest in sauté, you know, it's not to make money. It's when you invest in sauté, yeah, yeah. it's really because you love this wine. And I really love this wine. And there is a, it's really one of the greatest wines of the world. And there is many reasons to drink sauté um, as a aperitif, as a, uh, with a dessert, but also with a chicken. There is many reasons. Or also with a good cigar at the end of the, of the evening. I like sauté on many occasions. Give us